Fuzzy <laughs> Pickle. Hey, Fuzzy Pickles. Pickle. Fuzzy Pickle here. Sorry. My my kid was making me laugh. I almost choked on my... Jeez. I already knew everything you were going to do 10 years in advance because I'm your mom. <laughs> so, yes. Hey, everybody. On the sad, I'm getting the sad news out first. Rob Dexter from Hannaford's um, passed away. He was killed in a motorcycle accident. And for those who didn't know that, um, I'm saying it. Um, prayers and love to his his family and friends. Well, I'm a, I'm one of his friends too. He will be very much missed, and he will always be loved. So, I just wanted to put that into the beginning, so we get over the sad news. I cried. My daughter Gina called me up last night and told me I bawled my eyes out. So I can't talk about it anymore. And I do call him Robbie Rob. Well, I did call him Robbie Rob. So, yeah. Mm -mm. Not doing it. Not doing it. Not doing it. Okay. Oh, our garden didn't do very well this year. We have those years. Either it's too wet or it's too dry. We're done. Stop, Janice. Okay. Um, yeah, we did a few canning of... Green beans and wax beans and stuff. I dehydrated some tomatoes. We've got five cucumbers. And I'm still growing pumpkins. And I don't even know how many. I think three or four now. And that's it. So, yeah. 2020 has been a shit year, except January. My brother, I found out I had a brother. His name is Joey. And I ha found out I had a sister-in-law. Her name is, excuse me, Tina. And I found out I have a nephew, and his name is John. That's the best thing. Let's see. This year, um, my husband's um, workplace used to be Rhymes. Um, now it is Superior Plus. Rhymes sold out Superior Plus three, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, something like that. Yep, so everything, mine's got to start over with the insurance, everything else, blah, 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 blah. So, we're doing that. This is why I have not been on YouTube. <laughs> we have problems, Houston! <laughs> so, but I do get to talk to my niece, Lisa, and her husband, Joe, every once in a while when they go walking around the area. Because they do walk, every, I think, every day, because I don't think they ever miss a day. And, um, I do talk to my, my great niece, um, Megan. So that's, that's a good note. And Lydia and homeschooling guys, we're having a blast at it. I love homeschooling. So does Lydia. We get to do whatever we want any day of the week. She has, this, but I'm a control freak. So we have a schedule, even though. It, we're not treating it like school because she doesn't do eight hours. She's not in the school for eight hours. Um, she does her work. We look at it. it I'm learning um, um, square roots now. And I'm also learning German with her. That's her extra curriculum is um, German. So we're learning German. We're learning math. <laughs> Did I just sing that? <laughs> but we're having so much friggin' fun. And next year we'll be going to South Carolina, so there's a lot of stuff that she could do. We're going to homeschool all year round with her. Um, yeah, there's not going to be a day that we stop. But there's going to be, in the summertime, it's going to be learn, but have fun activities. Do you know what I'm saying? I cannot wait. So we're going to South Carolina in July. I can't wait to go see my brother and my sister in love and my nephew. Um, so sometime in July, I don't know exactly when, but we're, I think we're going to go to the Highland Games because we are Irish and um, Scottish. So we get to go there. Anybody can go. Who cares? Have fun. So I'm trying to make this whole year so upbeat that I... I don't really care. I do care. But when it comes to my kids, I care. 
two of my kids are in the wildfires on the west coast of California and Oregon. And as long as they're okay, I'm okay. They're going through the riots. They're going through all kinds of stuff over there. And um, we just, I just try to be upbeat because I can't, I don't think I could take any more bad friggin' news this year. And as a, for daylight savings time, please stop daylight savings time because I do not want an extra hour of 2020. I just want 2020 to, goodbye. Oh, it's ridiculous. I'm hoping my um, brother, uh, my brother Joey, I'm just, everybody knows his name now, Joey and Tina and um, John can come up in October when they wanted to, but they might not be able to because Tina went back to school and John went back to school and, but that's okay. I'll send plenty of pictures to them of what fall looks like up here and I'll even send them the, the temperature. <laughs> um, they live in South Carolina, so I don't think they really know temperatures. <laughs> cold temperatures they know hot and humid um so yeah that's an upbeat but if they don't make it we're gonna be down there next year anyways so does not matter doesn't matter to me one way or the other um let's see what else are we gonna be doing i have to spend i'm sorry i, I want to spend as much time as i can with my brother i have um 50 he's 50 i have 50 years to make up with him but when we met each other we acted like like we've always meant to be together you know what i'm saying so that's the fun that was the best part of 2020 and they did come up in july they came up to visit us it was like oh. um, myron had us scheduled for all kinds of stuff to do we didn't get a break at all we were doing all kinds of stuff they were here for a week and we did all kinds of, we just showed them around and we went to, uh, was it a zoo, Lydia, or petting park or something like that? We did all kinds of stuff. We went, um, we just did stuff together. We, we were hardly at home. That was a good thing, though, because we've been home for a while <laughs> with quarantine. But I had fun. And I, and I think that two, two best things out of the whole year. But the rest of it sucked. Ugh. So, how how's your year? this year been going? I've been trying to make it so positive. But I'm telling you, this homeschooling is the best. It's the bomb, whatever the kids call it today, the bomb, the best. Um, We're having fun. I mean, we get to get up in the morning, whatever time. We don't get up late, because I'm an early bird, but we don't get up late. But we start school whenever. Whenever she's done her work that she's assigned to, she, when she gets done, we're done. She's done. And then I just check her work. I'm not grading it. I'm just checking it. We're, and through the year, we'll see if she gets better at it. Well, she's, she's doing good now. But, you know, as you get through the year, she's doing eighth grade. I We skipped her seventh grade altogether. She's doing eighth grade work, and she's doing good. We're doing square square roots and algebra. So that's for math. She's doing eighth grade everything. Language arts. She's doing German. Um, she's taking German lessons from our friend Nadia. And twice a week. And we're just having fun. And I just can't wait to start collecting our leaves and stuff so we can start making pro pro products products projects with leaves and all kinds of stuff we've she'd been learning about bugs and caterpillars and so we're having fun and i don't know why i didn't do this earlier really to tell you the truth this has been the best and i don't think it's going to get old i think it's just going to get better as we go so, just wanted to keep everybody up to date what we're doing, and if anybody has any questions, or comments, hey, comment down below about how your 2020 is going. I'd like to hear from y'all. And Lori Beth, my daughter Lori Beth, thumbs up this video if you hear mom, because I want to make sure you're okay. I haven't, haven't heard from you in a while. So, I'll see you in the next jar.